everyone this is Steve Corian from Corian Photography and today I'm going to show you um, on two images how I kind of stack up my images for light painting and um, kind of my I'm going to walk through my process of how I get rid of the light around the car um, it's not super complicated it's actually pretty easy if you build up layers uh, when you shoot which is kind of how I've been used to shooting since I don't have like a blocker diffuser type thing on the side of my light uh, to block the light, I you know it, my, the light will end up showing up in certain frames. So um, you know one of the things I just started doing were, was layers uh, of shooting, so that um, it allowed me to quickly edit out the light without having to do a whole bunch of uh, you know clone stamping and things of that nature. So this is the final image of a '93 Cobra that I light painted this summer, and um, I'm not going to go over the editing of the car itself. I'm just going to go over how I get rid of the light above the car. It's pretty simple. I basically will start when I shoot a car for to light paint a car. I shoot it in in segments, meaning uh, you know I have a base layer, for example, that doesn't have any light above the car. It's just for the wheels and for the tailpipe and maybe a couple other small things like the Cobra or something like that. And those are the only things I really care about that particular shot that I want to bring into another layer. So when I'm shooting a car and I'm lighting a car, I'm always thinking about things that accent the car, how I can light those and how I can bring those through in different layers. And so this would be my base layer. This image here is the image where I light above the car to, to accent the roof and the, the fenders and things like that and the spoiler. So I'm not so much concerned with the light on the wheels. I do like the light on the ground. It does need a little cleaning up here and here. You can kind of see a shadow. There's a little bit of light on the window, which I can get rid of with the layer mask. I don't use erase. I use layer mask. I find it's easier when using multiple layers to be able to bounce back and forth and bring things back, especially with cars and the colors and, you know, if you accidentally save and you've already erased something it's just layer mask tends to work a lot easier for me um, it's a very simple command to use um, so in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how I use layer mask basically my top layer is the the one with the light streak in it that I want to get rid of my low the layer the my beginning layer that's below it has the uh, there's no light above the car uh, so all my the other thing I want to mention too before we do this is that all my toning and sharpening and and all of that is is done in um, Lightroom and then I bring these old images into Photoshop and Photoshop is essentially used to do all my hard editing all my color toning and all that stuff and it is all used is all done in Lightroom um, you know you you can use GIMP I assume you could use GIMP it's free I don't use GIMP, so I don't really know how to help you there if that's what you're using. Um, but uh, this is Photoshop 2017, in case anybody's wondering. But So uh, when you go to select layer mask, you just go down here on the top layer, select layer mask. And uh, when you select a brush and it's set to black, it will erase away your image and show what's behind your image. So you can see all I'm doing, I'm going to erase away the sky because I want I like the sky in the other image better. It's a little bluer, kind of makes it pop a little bit better than um, than this version. And I could, you know, I could use a bigger brush to go faster, I guess. I was just kind of being a little lazy, I guess. But you'll see over here on the right, this is my layer mask, and it's showing you what you're erasing away. Okay, uh, and that's basically, it's pretty quick and easy. I don't have to go and clone stamp a whole bunch of stuff and get all crazy with the editing. You know, when you want to do the window, it's the same exact thing. You know, I just come in, I brush over, you know, what I want to, I want to get rid of the light streaks and whatnot. And then I just pretty much just brush over it. You know, when you get to, the other cool thing about uh, layer masks is, you know if you if you mess up you can bring things back really quickly you know um, and you can also use selections to select within a layer mask so that you don't go outside of it when you're doing when you're brushing like so I don't want to go on the rubber when I'm um, 
getting rid of this light right here. So I can make a quick selection. I could also zoom way in so that I don't, you know, I get the, the selection as accurate as possible. And uh, I basically just come in, set my brush to black again. And I just brush over that line. And it see, it, it won't brush, it won't erase away anything but what's in that selection. And then you just come in here and I just clean up this little, little bit around it. Now see, you can notice that there's part of the window because I didn't zoom in. But if I zoom way in, you can see there's this little spot right here. Well, I can just make a selection. Come in with my brush, brush that away, and I can get it exactly where I want it so that you can't even tell that there was any light on that window. This is the part of the editing that can take some time because you don't want anyone to see that you, you know, were editing away things. You want it to be as smooth as possible. And if I zoom out, You'll notice that the light streak on the window is gone. And it's the same thing for the wheels. If I want to bring the wheels in from the other um, from the other picture, I just I'm using a layer mask. I'm on the same layer mask and I'm basically erasing away what was behind what's behind this image to bring forward what I want shown. So you can see it brightens up my rims, wheels. And I might do the cobra. Now the cobra. You can see if you just kind of, if you're sloppy about it, you can see that it, you know, there's light that's around the cobra on the paint. So I would have to actually go in and zoom in and, and, and select around the cobra really tight to be able to get to erase away what I don't want. I don't want the light on the paint, essentially, but I do want the cobra to be brighter. So there's things like that where it's going to take you some time to edit an image and get it where you want it, depending how the light falls on the car and how many layers you have and and things of that nature um, and this is just one image you know one one shot one side of the car I mean I did probably four or five different uh, angles of the car and so you know each one of those has five or six seven eight layers and you know you're basically building those layers up uh, you know another one is um, another good one that I'll show you this is a final image of a Lotus that I did this summer and this is a great example where I actually lit the background and um, so there's levels to this. So this was my first image. This is a, a good one to show. Now I know it's not horizontal, it's not perfectly square and all that, but don't worry about that. That's all fixed in post anyways. Um, but this is how I start an image when I'm light painting in a car with a background. I light paint the background first, okay? You notice there's no light around the car. This is my base layer. This is the first layer I bring in when I edit this picture, okay? There's some light, you know, kind of on the background back here. Not a big deal. I clone stamp that out. It takes two seconds to clone stamp stuff like this out. I kind of clean up the background a little bit and get it where I want it. Again, I'm not going to show you how I edit stuff like that because it's very time consuming. But this is another part of the, this would be layer two that I would bring in. This is for the wheels. Uh, it's for some of the foreground, which I toned down a little bit to kind of match the background. Um, and some of the, you know, the lower part of this diffuser in the back and this front part of the bumper, like things like that are, are why I brought this, this layer in specifically. And then this is the layer with the Lotus, with the paint, with the light above the car. So when you start looking at my images and how I stack them when I light paint, this is my first image. When you bring this in, if I bring this image in as my second image, I essentially layer mask away from this bottom edge down here. All of this goes away, all of it, even all around the car. So I'll basically make a selection with my polygonal lasso tool and select all this entire car all around here. And then I'll mask all of this away. So it only shows the, um, the light painted background. And so, you know this that kind of gives you a, a process of, of how I go about doing my light painting and you know um, over time when you start doing this this kind of 
some you know things you learn over time like when I bring this image in before I even get into the whole stacking of my images I'll probably come in and do some minor editing on this car on this image before I even bring it into my my image stacking process because I want to clean this image up I want to get rid of some of these light streaks I don't like you know here and here and here and you know maybe on the fender things like that right that I want to clean up uh, and it's the same thing on this image. I want to get rid of some of this. You know, some of the stuff that I might end up bringing in, I'll end up cleaning up. I'll probably clean up the foreground a little bit, uh, things like that. And then I'll bring them all into one image where I'll have five or six layers, four layers, whatever. And then those those images themselves are already pretty decently edited coming into that coming into this part of the edit. So there's a couple different editing phases. Um, but hopefully this this kind of shows you a good process if you're a beginner light painter or even a, a average light painter. I don't tend to try and light paint everything in one shot. It's too much. It's too much work. It's too easy to mess up. And it's it's a lot quicker to just take several different shots when you know what you want, when you know how where you want to go to. So um, if you find this tutorial useful and, you know, throw it a like. If you have questions, feel free to comment and rate below. And I'll see if I can uh, help you out with your questions if you have any. Thanks again.